people don't realize that they come from this base. People don't realize that they have the uncreated, inherent experience of all the great sages, all the great masters, all the great enlightened ones. The base of the whole universe, they don't, they don't understand, is in their own heart. Their experience, they can have it as their experience. It can't be contained. When we say it's in your heart, it's not like something in your heart. We're saying through the openness of open-hearted love and awareness, you can know your true nature. And that this nature is one with the whole universe. Most people don't know that, so most human beings operate, operate up here in the realm of what? Subject, object, duality. They, object, they operate in the realm of duality. I am the subject. Through my senses, I know the what? Object. And here's the point. In this world here, they are not the same. See that cross? I am different from you. I am different from the water. I am different from the trees. I am human. That's a tree. I am boy. You are a girl. I am white. You are black. We are different. You know, it's different, different, different. But everything going this way is different, different, different. So people that live on the very bottom of that differentiation, you're racist, you're sexist, you're misogynist, you're scientist. <laughs> it's pretty much operating from this first, first level of ignorance, of earth element. Boundaries. Earth element's about making boundaries around everything. Separating everything. Our attempt is to have our life in this world that could be duality actually be imbued by this world of non-duality. A cohesion of the more expansive and contracted together. That's a full and rich life. Remember the little circle and the big circle. This would be the little circle. This would be the big circle. They can work together. When they do, the universe's energy and wisdom supports you, and you live a long, happy life. Simple. When you don't live together with nature, you make obstacles and struggle and difficulty and illness and all this kind of stuff. When you don't live your normal, long, healthy, happy life. It's our choice. Now, our bodies here, our body is here, physical body, has many layers, goes right out to the energy body here until it expands into infinity. That's this. Our bodies here <clears throat> function in the realm of duality, but we in our consciousness, in our experience of reality, don't have to be in duality. I don't have to think of you as different from me. Why? Well, I don't even have to feel it, actually. And that's what I was thinking. I can feel the sameness between you and me. I can know the sameness between you and me. I can directly experience it through our samati, meso, enlightenment, meditation. And we know that truth. We can experience it in an integrated way through our actions as well. But most of us fairly safely tucked away up here. Hungry, food, eat, fill me up with food, food out there, food in here, now me. You know, like big separation, right? So how do I feel one with my car? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, you can. <laughs> right, so they're usually separate. But we can have this experience flow through all of life. See that? Very easy. Without giving away the richness, the beauty of diversity, the power of individuality, of individual nature. Is that clear? That's cool, no? Huh? 